At the Supreme Court, religion and football, the case of a coach fired for refusing to stop praying on the field after football games. Many question, is it a violation of his religious freedom or an attempt to prevent an official endorsement of religion? Pete Williams has more. When Joseph Kennedy was an assistant high school football coach in Bremerton, Washington, he began dropping to one knee on the 50-yard line right after games to pray. It just was myself, you know, just giving thanks out on a football field after a game, and it kind of organically, I would say, kind of grew. Soon his own players gathered around. So did players and coaches from the opposing teams. The school district told him to find a more private place to pray, wanting to avoid the appearance of an official endorsement of his religious views. But he kept at it, prompting more attention and bigger crowds. I'm just doing the free exercise of my religion. But some of the Supreme Court's justices today said that pushed members of the team to join in. The idea of why the school can discipline him is that that puts a kind of undue pressure, a kind of coercion on students to participate in religious activities when they may not wish to. But the court's conservative justices suggested they believed he was expressing his own private views and wasn't coercing anyone. This was an, you know, huddle up team. You know, which is a common coach phrase. And several justices said the coach shouldn't have been punished just because he was expressing a religious view. Suppose that when Coach Kennedy went out to the center of the field on these two occasions, all he did was to wave a Ukrainian flag. Would you have fired him? The justices seem inclined to rule in favor of the coach because he was praying on the field after games, but they showed no sign today that they're interested in opening up more opportunity for teacher led prayer in public schools. And that was Pete Williams reporting.